So what's going on you guys? Today, it's a lovely day in the Adriatic and I'm gonna show you my grid tie solar power plant up and working now. Since the electrical company was here uh, last week and they put a shut off box put a shut off box on their side and they also put a dump controller too so which makes it possible because I only have a 1200 watt charge controller system so once when the wattage on my house reaches 1200 watts then it automatically shuts off the wind turbine but if somebody puts another charge controller like an electrical company on their side and a shut off and with a dump controller and I'm not using power right so the only thing I have running right now is my fridge so that's about 450 watts in total here this is a possibility of 1500 watt system possibility the potential um, I got this off of Amazon um, the system runs uh, if you have 35 plus kilometer hour winds then the system will turn on you need 35 plus hour winds the thing is it's going in between uh, it's going in between uh, 1000 watts and 500 watts with a 1200 watt uh, charge controller in the house so if I put another charge controller in the house uh, it would probably be going all the time but since the electrical company did that actually for me and I saved you know a good $300 there doing that uh, and they did it for free I had the Canadian guys came here they did like I had three or four loads full loads of laundry I just got my electrical bill the other day and that was also included in in the bell and everything so uh, I can run uh, like I can run the fridge and I can run the washing machine at one time or I can run the fridge and a light and my solar water heater below me in my house at uh, one time and you know that seems good functionality so I just I just have to play with you know exactly if I had another thousand watt solar system here right if I put another thousand then I could run totally all the appliances in my house at once I could run the pellet stove the water heater the fridge right I'm on gas I I have tank gas like ship gas so and it's really economical here they use those bottles but anyway I just want to get on my solar and uh, wind generator grid tie power plant today and there's uh, there's 10 panels here um, what is it I just got some metal from the building center here from the building center I got some metal steel rods I anchored drilled some holes these are anchors so it's anchored down but the whole entire weight of it uh, is about roughly 400 plus kilos here right so this is well suited in the winter time we do get gale force winds off the Adriatic here which is the ocean is that blue line over there it's about 15 minutes away if I drive <coughs> and we get gale force winds here and it'll it'll rock shock you like you know about 80 90 maybe close to 100 kilometer hour wind and this thing in the winter time it was like one time where it was really sort of bouncing up and down but at night time and this thing was really rocking and going <clears throat> so the nice thing now is that because the provincial power company they installed that dump controller and the charge controller on their side with this with the shutoff switch 
So if they have to come in front of my house or any neighbor's house or anything and do any work, they can shut off the power coming into their side with the grid with the grid tie, right? And I was saying, like those guys, Canadian guys came here. They did four loads of laundry, everything, and my electrical bill inclusive. So they charged like every two months was nine ninety six euros for nine ninety six euros for two months of electricity on a grid tie using this system. Where before I had for two months, sometimes I had eighty euros a month, right? So you times it like about 700 euros a year in electricity. So this system here, if you think about it, it'll pay itself off in two and a half years. If I put another solar, 10 solar panels in here, which you probably can get for seven, eight hundred dollars. No, yeah, I could get like seven, eight, because one panel is a hundred euros. So one panel is a hundred euros. If I put another seven, eight hundred dollars into this, this whole system would pay itself off in a year and a half. So on this, in two and a half years, this whole system will pay itself off. And then I'll just be living off of free electricity. Because the total cost of this was about uh, 1,500 euros. And then the, the char with the charge control and everything, so you're looking at about 1,700 plus part supplies. These stones here, they they came with the house, everything. And then uh, the wiring is pretty simple, right? So the wiring is just, it's all plug and play. You know, these are all zap strapped in and everything. They're sort of hanging down, but it's functional. It's not, it hasn't ever failed. It's not going like anywhere uh, these are I drilled holes into this this bar here right and so this is not going anywhere this is tied down to these heavy uh, blocks of concrete that are on my roof and then it's all supported and so this is not really going to gonna go flying off the house or anything like that you know This is like a really cool functional system for a small medium house such as mine. Functional and working. I, I really like it now since, but I had to wait uh, four and a half months for the electrical company. But it's worth the wait, you know, like if they can do a dump controller and uh, uh, grid tie controller on their side from your house with the sawdust switch for free you know and they just give you a 996 euro a month bill for two months of electricity I mean that's really worth it I mean that's a that's a really good deal so I had to wait a little bit four and a half months but where I'm at uh, I tried the grid tie off-grid system for three months and I can actually hook that up down with my batteries in about 10 or 15 minutes. I just gotta hook up the batteries right, put the plugs on and away, away it'll go. But I've, I've never had a problem here now since I've been sometimes here with two or three days without electricity from the Adriatic storms in the winter time and waiting for the power company here to come and shut it off. But over this winter, I never had a problem with this solar, uh, with this solar grid from off of Amazon, and this was a really good deal. Uh, it took me actually about two weeks to put this in myself. It was just you know, between everything else I've done. Yeah. But I really, I really enjoy it. Uh, trying to do things myself, trying to work with it. And it's just rocking and rolling and giving me free electricity. So, nice view up here, kind of a windy day. It's actually Sunday, 
perfect day. Uh, I like the windy days to go down to the beach, take the dogs along, things like that. So kind of take a day off, get away from the garden. The outdoor garden, uh, I got the first line of, the first left line here, the first right is, the first line here is full of hay. And I'll probably do some more now. There's like two, two bins I need to fill up. I need to go ask around, get some more hay, or I get somebody on my property with a tractor and to cut me some more hay, or I cut some more hay myself by hand. That sort of thing. So, really cool. I'm just stoked right now about this system and how it works, right? You know, and you can do this all yourself. This is all plug and play. Right? So, I just like it. From 50 to 80 euros for two months, down to 9.96 euros for two months. Functionally affordable. So these are all anchored in. Here is the line, this line. And then it comes down here, and my house is on stone, and there's a ground wire, so positive, negative ground, as, uh, and it goes uh, 200 watt, and then it goes 400 watt, and then 400 watt. And the reason is, is you don't want to connect your whole entire 1000 watts together at one time. You actually, it's better if you do three systems in 1000 watts, in case one of the systems is actually failing and then when you plug it into your grid tie because normally a grid tie will come with four plugs so then you can do 400 watt and then 400 watt and then 200 watt and then you can do your uh, wind generator so one power plant two power plants three power plant and then number four power plant all coming into the grid tie and then going out uh, into uh, the electrical power company which also now has a uh, has a 1200 watt charge controller with a dump control for the wind generator and a, a shut off switch and they did that for free so because they want my power see like right now inside my house I only have my fridge running so there's a now there's a possibility of 1000 because my fridge is 400 watts and the system is 1,500 watts. So the power company is getting possibly 1,000 watts from me, which they need, which will sort of cover some of my neighbor's electricity in that the supply. Because sometimes the electricity here is not very good. And I noticed too that my solar water heater inside my house, I got an electric water heater. I just plug it in and turn it on and then in an hour and a half it gives me hot water every day and I do normally do that before noon so okay gonna try and make it down here and this is simple right these are just anchors you know you drill them uh, the building center they have all they had all the piping the metal and everything for me and I did one, two, and three, right? And the same thing with the then the the power from the wind generator going in here, and then from the solar coming in here, and just drilling the holes and then filling with silicone and putty, right? Oh shoot! This ladder is gonna. Okay. That was almost not a good idea. I had a phobia of ladders a bit now since my accident in April. Trying to get off the tree. Okay, so I cleaned out the root cellar here yesterday. It's all nice and clean. Everything, I'm in my root cellar now. And 
trying to figure out what I'm going to do next year. Anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for those who liked and subscribed to my channel. Uh, and please do send some comments. Or if you want to come here and stay at Casa Esmeralda, that's fine. I got hammocks. I've been sleeping outside all summer. Uh, yeah, just life under the Adriatic sun. Melons, olives, vegetables, fruits, fresh fruits all the time, olive oil, all the good stuff in the Adriatic. Get a little bit of a tan, some vitamin D, and enjoy the summer. So take care and bye for now. See you around.